Oh shit, he done lost his head. Hey, what's up my peeps? My name is Morxaton. Welcome to Let's Tutorial and Seven Days to Die. This is a new series I'm starting that is going to cover all kinds of things, aspects of this game on how to do this, how to do that. It's not going to include building tutorials because I already have a separate series for that. So this episode is going to cover the controls and user interface for PC. I apologize, I'm not a console gamer. I can't help you with console controls or any of this stuff. I'm going to get started here. This is an FPS game, so it's got the standard controls. W moves forward. S moves backwards. A strafes left. B strafes right. Bro, I'm stuck on some bullshit. Spacebar jumps. Left shift sprints. And you should be using an awful lot of that. C sneaks, but you have to hold C down. Or snee. What the fuck am I saying? You have to hold C down to maintain sneak. However, left control toggles sneak so you don't have to hold it down. So when you go into sneak mode here, you see the eye in the center of the screen. When it's really big and it's it says hunted above it. It means you're hunted. When the eye is very skinny and it says undetected, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're not currently detected. However, if there are zombies nearby and they don't fully detect you yet, you'll see the little eye icon kind of blink open slightly, just like you did a moment ago there. And it says that you're sensed. Now, what that means is that they are actively looking for your ass. Okay, the tool belt. If you look in the bottom center of the screen... That is the tool belt. Now, starting from the left is number one on the keyboard through number eight. If you aren't in the map, so you're not in the user interface at all, and you're not zoomed out with a gun or something like that, the scroll wheel just scrolls between all the items on your tool belt. If you have your map open, scroll wheel zooms in and out. If you have a scoped weapon like a sniper rifle, Oh shit, he done lost his head. Scroll wheel will zoom in and out. I'm out of ammo, take an arrow to the face. So left mouse, whatever you have selected in your tool belt, it's the primary effect of that item. And the right mouse button is a secondary effect. Well, a club, for example, doesn't have a secondary effect so I can't demonstrate anything. A stone axe, for example, left click, will attack with the stone axe. It's what you're going to use for harvesting resources and whatnot. Right click on the stone axe will upgrade whatever you have targeted. So you right click and hold. You can see I'm upgrading these wood frames that I just dropped. Hey! You bitch! I don't think so! What the fuck did you just do? Oh my fucking god, she just did like a break dance. You guys are crazy. Uh, I got you. What the fucking I'm stuck on? Oh, there's more dicks behind me. How you like that, honey? She said she loved it. Okay, tab. Opens and closes your inventory. In your inventory. You see these icons across the top. You can click on those to go to the different inventory. Fuck you, dude, with the bullshit. M opens your map. You left click and drag to move the map around. Zoom in and out, A, baby. What you doing, honey? You need to back off. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna go clubbing your face off then, because what the fuck? I gotta hit you in your coochie. I couldn't hit your face. Okay, you just disappeared. All right, so E opens and closes doors. It's like your, it's basically your activate key. This is my sucky little base. It opens hatches, it can open containers. Uh, if you hold E down, it might give you a few other options. For example, with this chest, I can lock and I, I can unlock it. I can pin it, so if I have it locked and it's pinned, I can let my friends in the chest if I tell them what the pin is. If you don't know the pin, you can't get in there. Pin or passcode or whatever the fuck you want to call that. Same goes for other things like the hatch and doors. R reloads your weapons. I'm a terrible shot, apparently. 
fucking took his head right off. Weapons will auto reload. But well, let's say I want to manually reload. Hit R. Now, certain weapons may have multiple types of ammo. For example, the bow. If you hold R down, you can select a different type of ammo that you want to use. For instance, oh, you're a dick. You're underneath my shit. I'm gonna set his ass on fire. Hey, baby. Man. Are you just so hot for me? You are just so hot for me, aren't you? Look at that. Oh, baby. You are on fire. R also loots everything in a container. M opens up your map. You can left click and drag. You can mouse wheel to zoom in and out like I'd already mentioned before. N opens your skills. O opens your quests. B opens your character screen. You can see there's your stats on the upper right here. And the left side is what you're wearing and all the different protections you have. Since I'm just some naked freak not wearing anything, I have no protections at all. Now the worst hotkey in existence is Q. Here's what Q does. What the fuck? I just threw my Iron Reinforced Club. I didn't want to do that. I recommend turning Q off. Here's how you do it. Hit escape, go into options, go into controls, find drop. Now, you can't actually unbind a key. You have to kind of do this little trick to unbind it. So we're going to click in there, and it says press a button. We're just going to left click, which removed mouse zero from primary. Then we're going to say on primary, click, and we're going to click again to bring mouse zero back to primary. You can see drop now says none. You are fucking my shit up. I don't appreciate that. You done lost your head. You flaming idiot. Look at you all up in fire and shit. What in the fuck is going on around here? Uh, apparently I'm shooting a zombie body. Corpse. There he is. This is the worst base in existence. A little shithole platform here. F will toggle your flashlight. If you happen to be carrying a flashlight. Or if you happen to be wearing a mining helmet. I will show all the players that are connected to the server if you're playing on a server. Now, to go over the inventory, you left click to inspect an item. You'll see some options appear here. You can equip it. Why would you want to equip small stones? I don't know. You can click on recipes. It will filter and show you any recipes that you can make with small stones. And this actually over here is a little crafting window. You can see all the different things you can craft. You can search for stuff. Let's say you want to make wood spikes. Wood spike. There you go. You can find stuff through the icons as well. And you can flip between the pages. Down here, these four squares are your crafting queue. So when you craft something, which for example, let's just craft an arrow. It goes in this first spot here. So let's craft an arrow, a campfire, stone axe, stone shovel. You can see I'm filling up the queue. These these items are next in line, these three here. So left click and hold and drag to pick up an item. Once the item's on your mouse, you don't have to hold left click down anymore or the left mouse button down anymore. You then can left click to drop it someplace. You can left click to swap it with another item. You can right click and hold to pick up half of the stack. So here's 693 pieces of wood. I picked up about half of it. And while you're holding a stack and you right click, you will drop one at a time. There is no way to type in an exact number that you want out of the stack, unfortunately. So for example, if you wanted 200 wood, drag half, drag half again, just pick this up. I just right clicked a whole bunch until I got 200. There's a neat trick that doesn't tell you how to do it here, but if you hold down left shift and you click on an item, it will go between your inventory and your tool belt and the first available spot. This also works for containers. And that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this tutorial. Uh oh, it's night time. I'm going to turn on my mining helmet. You will not have a sniper rifle and all this stuff in day one. I'm just using this for demonstration. Don't get your hopes up. If you like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Really appreciate it. It helps me out an awful lot. Love hearing from you guys in the comments. And I really hope this tutorial series is going to be very beneficial for you people out there that really want to get into this game, but you're not entirely sure how to get started. And there's links in the description below to find me on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later. Yeah.
Yes, I'm gonna have no choice. Wait, you dicks? No. I cheat on you, cheaty fucker. <laughs> no. That's the same. I really love these spikes. I love the logic in the chat, buddy. Oh, you cheat. Let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn, these fucking water cores.